What's up? Uh, welcome to the second video in this series. Today we're gonna look at custom head modeling. It's pretty cool. This is gonna give you the tools to make your own head and uh, body even, like accessories, anything, because it's all the same principle. So I'm gonna remove this guy's hat. And the first thing I'm gonna do, like I showed you in the last video, is select the head. You know, just get everything, everything that you need. Uh, make sure you don't miss any spots because it can be tricky. And also let's disable this sharp edge thing so you can see better. And I think that's, oh, I think that's it. So I'm gonna press P now, selection, G, actually not G, tab, G and X. And let's move it. It looks like I missed a spot. In fact, a couple of spots. So before I do any of that, let me go into wireframe like, like I did yesterday, just to make sure everything's selected. I'm gonna press, oh, I'm press P, selection. And there we go. Okay. Now I don't need to see that body yet. So I'm just gonna hide it. I'm going to hide the root, so I don't need to see that either. And we're going to focus on removing this Bob the Builder hat. So again, just selecting simple stuff, stuff that you did in the last video if you followed along. And oh, got a little bit of head in there. And on this video, I'm not going to teach you how to UV map yet. It's one of the hardest things in uh, in just modeling in general. It takes a lot of effort to get right. So I'm just going to, you know, teach you a bunch of tools. Like you, you're going to see in a second. So I'm just going to delete this, delete faces. And as you can see, uh, I don't have half of his head now. And another, another thing that I like to do is delete half of the face. Uh, as you know, our heads, human heads, are symmetrical. They're mostly symmetrical, but all of our faces have some asymmetrical um, elements to it. But uh, for modeling, we want to make sure that, that the head is completely the same on the same, uh, the same on both sides. At least when we're, you know, changing topology and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to delete and delete this face as well. Then I'm going to, on object mode, I'm going to go to modifier properties and click mirror and do the Z axis. It could be any other axis for you, but for me, it's the Z axis. So I'm going to select everything by clicking A, G, X. Just try to make it match. Uh, so we don't have holes. All right, and there we go. We don't want to apply the mirror modifier. Okay, not yet. Um, and the reason why I also mirrored it is because I can select this face here and just, it's going to move everything on both sides, right? Because we don't want to, for example, change the, the shape of this, of this ear on one side and then the other side is completely the same. You're going to have to do the same thing and you want to make sure they match more or less and it's just a, a ton of work you save. So what's the next step? We're going to go into edge selection and select the edges only the top ones because we don't need these for what we're going to do. And we're going to try and make uh, the head connect. So now that, that we have that selected, I'm just going to press E and bam. Actually, we're going to press E and then X 
So it goes, uh, I mean, Z on, so it goes, it moves on the Z axis, right? We will, we're going to move that a little bit. We're going to press E again on the Z axis as well. Actually, before you do that, we're going to grab these two and just rotate them a little. Actually, let's press, let's select everything. Just make sure, yeah, we had some duplicate vertices. What you were seeing there is duplicate vertices. It happens sometimes. Uh, it's probably something that I do wrong that I still haven't figured out, but when you see that happening, you want to select everything, do Alt-M, and then merge by distance. And that's it. Uh, so let's select these two. Okay. And just rotate. Move it a bit down. Actually, let's. Because, you know, the, the head isn't like a, a cube, it, it's a bit inclined on an incline. Uh, now we get this, Z. You know, we're just moving vertices, and that's what you want to do at this stage. Just move a, a couple of a couple of vertices. Now we're gonna go into edge mode again. Make sure you don't select anything by mistake. And we're gonna do extrude. This is called extrusion. We're gonna do that again. And we want to do the same thing, just rotate, and just move, and there we go. And we get this vertice, move it up. Oh, it's not aligned, but it, you know, it's, this is not an issue, but you don't want to see holes in, in your, when you're modeling, because you want to get the best approximation to, to the real thing, right? And now we go, we want to move these as well. So they're on an angle. And I think, I think the best way to do this is R. Yeah. We go get this guy back to where it should be. Move this a little here, move this a little here. There we go. We're almost done. We just need one more layer. You can do that. You can do what I just did by you know select the first one and then do shift. Alt, and you select the entire thing. You select all the edges between your first and the one you're selecting. We're gonna do B again. You know, we're gonna do do this. It's not a big issue. Because now we're gonna wanna move this a bit to the here. And this guy a bit here. You know, and if you find that the head is getting is too large, you know it's an easy it's an easy fix. You don't need to worry too much about it. Like when when everything's connected, that's when you should start worrying about proportions. And now, this doesn't look good. Sometimes you don't you can't just rely on the axis. So, and now. These these vertices are too straight, so we're gonna move them. You know, this is pretty simple. In my opinion, I don't think it's very hard. I uh, might struggle with 
with the bindings, with the key bindings and all that. But, you know, if you keep doing this, it's going to be second nature to you. You're not going to, you're not going to think about it at all. Now you want to close the head. So you can select these two. And do this, right? I'm just going to grab this. I'm going to move it up. I'm also going to move this this one up as well. And just press F. Just slowly start um, closing the head, right? I want to make another. I'm going to connect. I'm going to connect here. You can see the, the vertices a bit too. Now I'm going to connect these two, three rather. Yeah, slowly you'll have the head uh, pretty much done. The last one. And there we go. That's it's not optimal. It's a bit too large. So I'm just going to grab the knife tool here. I'm going to click on that vertice, you might not be able to click on it, but make sure it's green, click again, and then press enter. And there you go. Now to make sure that I didn't make, I didn't make a new vertice, I'm just gonna merge by a center. Now this needs to be a little high up. High up. This needs to be down. This needs to be down by a lot. This needs to be down as well. Uh, this needs to be down. And there you go. Uh, it's not perfect. Like you can always just go individually and move these vertices along. But you should eventually get something that you like, right? Uh, like you might even think, oh, this head is too big. So you just select these edges and select the top ones as well, or just select the faces. It might be easier. You can just move this down. Bam. Right. It's a bit too big in the back. I think I'm just going to. Again, select this vertice, move it on the x-axis. Select this one, move it on the x-axis. And yeah, just keep tinkering with it. And you might realize that, you know, the texture, there's no texture here. Well, there is, but it's not properly UVW mapped. And I'm going to teach you that in the next video, so I don't make this one too long. And... I believe, oh, just gonna fix this, this small thing here. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna fix the proportions post-production. In post-production, like uh, after I do this video. Uh, but yeah, I hope you learned something from that. And uh, in the next video, we're going to cover UVW mapping. See you later.